All right, here we go. Tonight, head gasket night for this nice looking 304 AMC I got with a Jeep project and it's gonna go back in a Jeep project. The uh, guy I got it from came with a parts Jeep. He had started on it, had a lot of nice machine work done, assembled it himself. New front cover, Lunati cam, looks like 40 thousandths over. And uh, anyway, it looks really good, spins over nice. We'll crank it over before we put the head gaskets in. Definitely looks nice and tight. You can see the cam turning down there. So there's all stuff happening. Really good looking motor, not the color I would have done. I think we're going to go with AMC green. But good looking. And uh, I'm not lying to you on the engine size. That's uh, proof right there. Smaller, but they run good. It'll be good for this Jeep, street Jeep type of thing. Uh, I guess the cam that is selected is one of the largest ones you can run with the stock valve train, uh, which is a limiting factor for the AMCs for sure. But tonight, uh, it's time to get head gaskets on, heads on. This has been sitting around way too long. I had to clean up a couple things here. Got a little bit of fuzzy from sitting around. So we'll check some stuff out, get some gaskets on. So this came with Felpros, which is good. It's what I normally use. And uh, there's the bottom, and there's the top, and I know that because it says so. So these are going to go on, can go on either side. Get them set up on the dowels. Get on there. There we go. These have some little fingers that fit on the dowels, and you got to kind of push these down. So, I like to make sure everything's nice and clean. Looks good, the motor spins over nice. Now you would think that I'm a master engine builder, but I am in fact not at all. I'm just a guy in the garage. But I did have a master engine builder do over these cylinder heads. They came all with the Jeep, but needed to be assembled. And these have been three angle valve job, surfaced, freeze plugs, and then we installed the appropriate uh, valve springs to go with the cam that I mentioned earlier. So definitely time to get this together. These have been sitting around way too long. So I'll get them set on there and we'll go over uh, head bolts and torquing them and all that cool stuff. Well, those are just set on now. So I'm going to get the rest of the bolts and drop them in. I just did one here to hold it on. It's not going to go anywhere. We'll go over to our bolt pile. And it's a lot of stuff that came with the Jeep. I sent those through the parts washer. And uh, those should be ready to install. So, grab a couple of them. We'll get it done. Get some of the short guys from on the outside down there. Can't leave them out. Yeah. You can go right down there. Nothing to it. So now we've run all the bolts in. I don't do anything fancy. Once I get them all in there, I like to just tighten them down a little bit by hand in the same order you would torque them. So on these, that's starting in the middle and then bouncing back and forth as you go along over the head. This one here gave me a little bit of trouble, which scared me. So I pulled it back out, chased the threads, put a little oil on just to lubricate it, and sent it back in. So anyway, now is the fun part where we're gonna torque them. So I just need you to turn to page 2D slash seven of your Jeep Haynes repair manual. You can find these in the back seat of pretty much any parts Jeep or on Amazon. 
This one I did buy new. I've thrown a lot away. Um, but let's see, the cylinder head installation. And another thing, I didn't put anything on the threads of the bolts. Some guys do that, RTV, something like that. So avoid water leaks. I haven't done that before except ARP stuff, you know, when you're using their type of assembly lube. Um, that's not the bolts. And clean the threads and put them in and finger tight and then tighten them evenly. So nothing about putting goo on the threads or that awful orange RTV. And then uh, down over here, there's a sequence, like I said. You got one, two, and then three, four, blah, 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 blah. And if you go back a couple pages, there's the awesome easy install rockers. Just tighten them down. Done. We've got uh, cylinder head bolts, 110. Foot pounds, I'm not using newton meters because we're still in America, we're still using foot pounds because that makes sense. Cylinder head bolts, 110. We're gonna do it, here we go. Is that easy to read? Not really. But that's at 110 right there. The other thing is I'm gonna use a socket that's a 3 8 drive with a half inch adapter and that's gonna help uh, set that down. That's going to help fit in here. Some of these can be really tough. I've run into major problems getting old engines apart, using chrome sockets and snapping stuff, that kind of thing. So I'm going to try and set the phone down and uh, start torquing the stuff here.